Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? Na, 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 na. How are you guys doing? I got a SCW 32 game. SCW Season 32 of Scan and Dingo. I'm going to do two games. TVP. We got Dingo on the Protoss. We got Scan on the Terran. We all know that Scan has a very... Ooh, he's going to go with the mech build. We all know that Scan has a very sick, sick TVP. And I actually don't think I've really seen him go for the mech build. So, this will be interesting to see. So, went for the gas. Or, yeah, went for the gas before. I got, yeah, you always go for the gas before. Okay, so, and this is actually going to work out in his favor because he's going to be up against a an extra Nexus. And it's going to be a nice little scout for Dingo. So, Scan is going to see this in his base. We'll see the probe try to harass a little bit. And I always hated railing. And here comes your double factory. One going to get made right here. One right there. Getting that marine. We'll see if he builds a bunker or not. Going to repair his SCV right there. Get it all the way up to 13, so it knows, he knows it can take two more hits. Those are the little things that a player like Scan will do. And now he's going to start pushing forward. Maybe scout after this. And another Nexus might come down. Not sure. Here's your cannon. And going to scout the middle, looking for that mid build. Not going to see it. Here's another Marine coming out. And he stopped his Marine production. No bunker. This guy might go up north, which he does, and I'm guessing he's not going to save this guy. Let me try. So, and he's just going to lift this up. He knows. He's actually probably just lift this up and send it on over. Maybe get some more information, but I, I think he needed to move it over so he can get his double machine shop. He's probably just going to make two vultures, <clears throat> and then once those make, he knows he can out micro for a while. And he's just going to go straight into a double machine shop. There's a probe going to get a little scout off. And yeah, I'm excited for season. There's your uh, vulture. I'm excited for season 32. Scan. Crushing it. And uh, I just hit 900 subs. So appreciate, appreciate that. And yeah, smart move here. Going to build the pylons and also a gateway so the vultures cannot run by i'm surprised he's not lifting this up and getting some information probably knows he would probably lose it to a dragoon but not completely sure and we'll see what upgrade he goes for first i'm gonna go with the double tank so i'm not sure if he's just going for the double tank there's your siege I'm gonna be a little bit late i think i would have went for the siege first and then the double tank but by the time those tanks get right here then Siege will be done, so that's probably what he's thinking. He get a mine, and he's got two more vultures on the way. Already got an extra command center. They get an, an armory, and there's your double tanks. Got the engineering bay right there, and maybe he'll start building some turrets so they can defend against DTs. Here's your Templar archives. Lifting this up. Here's your third factory, and I am casting this on Monday. And, uh, ooh, he's going to be able to snipe this out really nicely. And Siege is just finishing. So there's your Siege. Let's see if he shoots this. He's going to go right after the cannon. And once this is done, he's going to move this tank a little bit closer. So really push it fast. And now he's just going to run in, go for the attack. A couple of Dragoons here, though. We'll lay the mines down. That's going to defend against DT, so the one way you can beat a super fast push like this, I saw Brain do it, is you pick up a DT and you put it in your opponent's base. So he should get a turret around his main, 
And he probably should get a comm set, but doesn't look like he's going to. Couple four Dragoons here. DT going to pop out. That's exactly what Dingo is going to do. So, here's your Vultures, and just kind of controlling the middle. Here's your drop, and Scan going to see that. Probably lay some mines if he can. Going to try to snipe this out. Is he going to get it? So close, but not able to. Now there's a DT inside of his base. He's going to have to build the turrets all over the place. Going to spread these and try to clip this a little bit. Try to get these turrets to build. And they are getting pretty close. He's only lost a few SCVs here, so well done by Scan. Playing at 267 APM. There's a Reaver here. Mines. Gonna run these guys lose three of all four of his dragoons, so not the best job. Two more tanks on the way. And is he getting an upgrade? Getting that upgrade on attack. This is turning out to be a fun one. We are going to move a little bit forward. Take out this turret. And maybe we'll see a starport come down. There's a Goliath right there. Maybe we'll see a starport come down soon from Scan. And one way that... Buell, I think, is a little bit better with this build is instead of getting turrets like this, he just gets a bunch of mines. So, and those will detect your DTs. So, there's your academy. Probably going to get a comm set soon. Stargate getting made. We're going to see some Templar drops. A couple observers right here. Just going to build a lot of Dragoons. Two tanks are going to file in here. Start laying the mines. Don't see a drop coming anytime soon. Here's your observer. And now he's going to start moving on out. And tanks are doing some work. I don't see that Goliath. Did that Goliath die? Here's a Reaver drop. to go after the tank with the Reaver. And that tank's going to go down. There's four tanks over here, though. So, and going to retreat backwards. Going to go for two more command centers. I like that from Scan. And now he might just want to start defending a little bit. Abort this and start building a ton of turrets. Mass up. He's already got five factories. He's got the vision on the side. Goliaths over here. Upgrade done. And playing this one really nicely. So no upgrade yet for Dingo. Dingo is very good with drops. He defended this pretty nicely. And another, here's your science facility. No control tower. Here's a couple of tanks. I think he thinks that these tanks might be able to hit this, but I don't, I do not think they can. Yeah, they can't. So maybe we'll see a scan come down from the scan master. And the supply, 134 to 80, basically. Another forge. And scan coming down. Gonna see that there's not really that much, that many men, so of course they're gonna take this out. Might move this back a little bit, bring those Goliaths on over. Be in those machine shops. And someone asked me, and actually I will reply to that um, in a comment that I saw. How did I know that's the real flag? Uh, you can actually go on his channel and see some of the games that he played. So he played against on fastest. He, would play, he played a decent amount of fastest, and he played uh, Mong, he played um, he played Brain, he played a bunch of people, 3 vs 3, 2 vs 2, Storm coming down, and 53, I don't know how many kills he got here, 3 only, and I'm not sure how many he got on the other one. I have to micro this guy a little bit, and this actually might morph, we'll see if this guy comes down. He's actually attacking this first. He does not want this Archon to come alive, but he's going to die. And now Dingo in a decent spot. He defended that pretty well. Look at Scan playing at crazy APM. See if he gets a... He's going to go with the Vessel first. He's got a decent amount of turrets. Getting his upgrades. He's got all of his scans up here. And going to start laying the mines. You know how important it is to lay mines. I'm just going to lay some mines here. Maybe lay some mines here. We'll see. 
Might lay some mines for some vision down here. Not completely sure. And I think he should maybe just build a barracks right here just in case. Not really pumping much. Hope this does not turn into a corrupt game. And here is a drop. And gonna drop all of these tanks. These turrets and Goliaths took that down pretty nicely. There's an observer in here. Gonna probably go a little bit too. We saved it just in time. And gonna defend that pretty easily. So surprised he's not pumping though. Just to do a row of tanks. Start pumping. He's got two more factories on the way. He's busy over here laying mines. There you go. There's your row of tanks. And... Should get a couple more factories as well. He's got the Goliaths right here. Scan's coming down. He snipe out. Not sure if he sniped out a probe or something. Here's a drop sneaking in here. Templar in. Ooh, that one's gonna get through at a count of 80 and not even gonna lose. I think he lost only one to this Zealot right here. So, very nice dodge from Scan. He's got a bunch of SCVs that are ready to start building. And I would like to see. Oh, he's got three robotics here, so Dingo's gonna be able to keep his drops uh, going. Now he's going to start cannoning up the middle. Are these vultures? Just laying some mines over here. Dingo with the DM. What a shocker. You know, three, yeah. I was just looking at um, comments. Uh, some One of my other games is casting. And uh, a lot of you guys like the regular. Wow, this went down quick. A lot of you guys prefer the SCW map. So. Figured I would, uh, yeah, I mean, if I got SCW games, and especially if they're newer, too, always down to do them. I'm going to be doing some SCW of Jose and Kokini. Look at all these factories. 1-2 uh, upgrade, 2-1, however you want to say it. Big attack coming, 1-0-1 for Dingo. Needs to get this out of the way. And it's a lot of factories here, so I'm gonna probably build four star ports over here, maybe three or four. I got three. There you go. Bless me. Got the Templars in here. A little bit of a storm on the tanks, that's huge. See maybe a storm coming down right here, probably a storm right here. And a drop coming right here. Templars in the back. Templars, he's got a lot of Templars in, in there. So this is gonna get through. Gotta pull the SCVs. He's at 86. And only gonna drop to 75. So that's an easy. That's pretty easy. I think one of these guys might have another storm. Maybe EMPs this. This guy's gonna have another storm. Ooh, this guy's getting splash damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take him out. This guy had another storm. He could have taken out all the SCVs right there. And that guy had another storm as well. Gotta know your storms. Gotta know your storms. 146 supply to 176. And the base of scan is, so you got 9 plus another 6, so 15. I mean, that's right. That's almost the exact amount that you need. 15 to 18 factories. That's what I've realized and you need about four star ports and now it looks like scans gonna start moving on out got the cannons right here but dingo never really goes for carriers so he just goes for always just a ton of zealots and storms and drops storms as in he storms your tanks and stuff get this a little bit closer scan point at that 300 apm he's gonna drop on all of this he's got the vultures right here ready for it might unseat these might be his best bet to unseat these but he did not, so he's gonna lose these. Got a scout up in here. Another big group of units right here. And yeah, Scan doing a nice job here, pushing out slowly. 
taking on these big attacks. Let's see how many gateways. Let's see how many gateways um, Bingo has. 7, 10, 14, 17, 18, 21. Two, two upgrades for scan. Here's a drop gonna sneak in here. Two Templars. And maybe he'll try to EMP this. And gonna dodge. I don't know if he moves his SCVs that much. It's only looks like about 12 right there. For all red, he needs to get a couple medics if he can. But he still has 69 SCVs. Is there a Templar in here? And he's gonna get the storm off No! And you can see that I am biased against Scan. I want Scan to win. Um, but I I really do respect Dingo. He's a very, very strong player. He's one of the top Western players. And a little expo right here. Scan's pretty broke, but he's maxed out. He's got a lot of units. Dingo is going to get rid of some of his probes. And we will probably see another drop continue. Another drop happened. Uh, he will continue to drop. Dropping on these tanks right here. Templar got smoked right there. Gonna scout for Expos everywhere. He should have 3 2 somewhat soon. Taking these out. He's got a bunch of tanks back here, so. He starts just laying out the mines. And. Yeah, I mean, Scan's money is not, it's not completely dead. I mean, he's doing pretty good, and he's got 170 supply, so if he can just keep laying down the mines. See this Expo, if he's making some DTs, so probably going to go for their DT counter. And Scan coming down, and he's going to see that he already sees this over here, so he will probably send something over there. He's got all these tanks he wasn't using. He's got the Valkyries right here. Probably continue to try to make Valkyries if he can. He's got a decent amount of gas. And slowly working his way in here. You kind of want to have some tanks here, some tanks here, and then some tanks there. Get that surround. 136 supply. So he's slowly losing his supply. Lost a lot of tanks right there from those storms. And he's at 37 SCVs. I hope I didn't miss another drop. Miss, miss a drop. I don't think I'm... That was just that one. Here's your DTs right here, so. It's a lot of tanks though. Let's see if he's finally getting, he's not getting three. There's, he's gonna have three, two as these guys come. DTs, we'll probably see, oh, he's got vessels in here, so scanning. Well, this is gonna be a completely fine. Scan coming down. And defensive matrix, that's what you need to do on all of these guys. Look at this sexiness right there. Five defensive matrixes, making the Goliaths. Gonna bait that Corsair in there. He's slowly working his way in. Probably gonna maybe put these tanks over here if he can. Take this out real quick. He's just about to, I think he's sniping at it. Now these are all unpowered. There's an Arbiter in here. TTs are getting made over here. Dingo is going to say go re. Of course, he's not going to say GG. That's not part of his style. And Scan going to win the TVP. Scan going to win that TVP. And let's go straight into the second game. And this is a TVZ, and Scan's going to be on the Terran again, I think. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Scans on the Terran. Whoops. Let's hold that down. Gonna have a middle Zerg, so unfortunate for Dingo. And gonna go for the triple Rack City. Let's wait for him to. No re. If you're gonna touch network, I won't re. Typical. Oh, that's. Okay. That was Scan. Um, I'm guessing he's complaining about his lag. Scan hates lag, and I think we know that Dingo might lag here and there, you know. So. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oops. Yeah, so he's leaving the Marines right here. Going to go into a command center. And Dingo probably looks like he's just going to build a lot of hatcheries here. He's got the money for it. Going to get another gas. And I think that scan might just go for... Looks like he's going to go for a factory. And then maybe he'll go for two more extra command centers. The interesting style. He's got fire bats. He's going to try to run these guys through. And this overlord's going to spot this out. I, yeah, so he's going to see that. And he's going to have to worry... He's gonna have to worry about this getting busted through. So, it's exactly. These guys stim up. You got stim them up. There we go. Usually you want to stim them and then bring them. So, not the best move from scan right there. Got the fire bats. And going to have to retreat. Another hatchery coming down. There's your lair. And Dingo in a decent position. Here's your command center. Just gonna finish up. And we'll see if maybe another command center comes down. Getting a barracks and another barracks, so and then an engineering bay. And then there's your starport. And is he gonna go for that that drop? Maybe. Mom texted me pictures of my dog at home. And the scan did come down. Am I going to see it? Yeah. Lair. So he sees the lair. Now he's getting the machine shop. Not really going to go for that super fast push. Building some more marines. Getting an upgrade. And just going to play off of that one extra command center at this time. It's got a couple SCVs that were chilling there. So I'm just going to start pumping. Get another barracks. Two more factories. Then there, there's your science facility. So, let's see what Dingo is up to. He's got the he's got the lurker upgrade. He's getting the chamber. He's gonna be getting that hive. He should be getting it any. He should be getting it now. Not sure why he's not. And these guys are accidentally gonna go a little bit too far. There's your hive. So a little bit late on the hive. And Scan doing a nice job taking his SCVs, pulling them home. Scan gonna come down, gonna see the hive, couple hydras right there. Another macro hatchery. There's your spire. So those guardians are not here yet. Here's a little drop ship. Gonna probably get um, we lose that overlord. Uh, gonna probably get some marines and medics. Unless he just brings that drop ship right here and picks these guys up. And those are done right there. Hive is. So I think once it gets halfway, it'll, there it is. So once it gets halfway, it, it turns into that. So here's a frontal attack. And he's going to just try to do the bulldoze again. With the Marines, these guys are chilling back here. You can use them. And make this into a lair. Dingo. Very interesting. And I don't really know if that blocks this off a little bit better. I don't think so. But here's your lurkers. And gonna probably start using these lurkers. We'll see if he use them, uses them offensively or not. And I think Scan probably heard that. And he can probably see that guy right there. Here's your vessel on the way. Where's that drop ship? Here it is. Eight minute drop. No medics in here, so... I don't know if I agree with that, because that's really not gonna get much done. I think he meant to maybe pick up a couple medics, but he didn't. This is not going to... We saw maybe this opening right here. And... Ooh, nice little scorgy action. Going to lose. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We lost eight drones, nine drones. So that was a lot more effective than I thought it would be. Here's your tanks right here. These guys are in hold position. 
Smart move there from Dingo. And now he's going to start using that. See if this, there's going to have to scan this. And going to stim that. Does not want to lose his tank, but he does lose the tank. And two more star ports just finished. And getting those upgrades. The hive is done. Defiler mound is done. Oh, greater spark on the way. I don't see a defiler mound. Getting upgrades. So sometimes my sister will, will comment on the the cast to help the algorithm and stuff. And uh, she just commented on one of my previous games. She goes, great job, Dingo. It was Kokanee versus Dingo. And Dingo lost most of the game. So she just, that's just typical. She just always commented on him. <laughs> uh, that cracked me up. I saw that. So Scant's spending his money pretty nicely. Gorgie's going to take that out really nicely right there. And there's your Defiler mount. He's got the Defilers. Maybe we, hope I didn't miss any scans or anything. And going to stim take this out. So he did cancel that lair right there. Looking for Expos apparently. Here's your Vessel in here. There's a Scourge right there. And there is your Swarm. And going to run these guys in. There's a lot of lings right here. So we might run these guys on over. We're going to get the defiler with an irradiate. So Dingo playing this one pretty nicely. Here's your Scorgies. And going to get one hit off on the vessel. Nice job there. Two more extra command centers. Going to start building some turrets on the side. Pumping out of the six rack cities. Two more factories on the way. Getting those machine shops. Vessels are getting pumped. Three dropships getting pumped. Here's another factory. So, I really like Scan's, like, perfect base. I mean, he's going to have a... I really think... I do think, though, that he should get Valkyries instead of dropships. Take out a lot of these Overlords. And, um... Going to get that Defiler right there. Got the Marines coming. And trying to snipe out the lurkers as they move out of the swarm there's your drop ships and we'll see if he just picks up all tanks we drop some in the corner two tanks in there scan coming down let's see what he's he sees this opening right here maybe he'll scan right here but I think there's an overlord nope these overlords are just gonna see it and we will see dingo's reaction time and I think he should have just dropped it a little bit closer. I don't know if I agree with that from the scan. That got absolutely obliterated. He should have maybe tried to went for the minerals right there. And 1-1 one, one upgrades. He's got a couple SCVs kind of chilling. He's got three armories right there. Going to go for another drop. But let's see if an Ultralist Cavern. There's your Ultralist Cavern. Maybe a drop going to come from Dingo. I think we're going to start moving on out here. You see the swarm come down. We get those lurkers in there. Two more swarms coming down. Really nice job from Dingo. And another swarm will probably come down. He's to consume with this guy. And Scan doing a nice job. Moving his units slowly backwards and backwards and backwards. Here's your Scorgies. Going to go after the vessels. Going to micro those guys out of there. And not going to be able to get any. And probably gonna lift these all up, get rid of those. Only real use for those are these fire bats, but they really get owned under swarm, anyways, from lurkers. And 1 1 upgrades from Dingo right now. Gonna move these guys into the swarm. These guys are gonna go down. I guess a bunch of medics with fire bats might do good. Scan's coming down, he's looking. You see these vessels or these scourges coming after the vessels? Not yet. And that one's gonna get one of them. So nice job there. Oh, Link's chilling over there. A lot of units right here. And at 181 supply with a huge base. 
and he's got about six drop ships, and I think he should get a couple Valkyries just to clean out all these overlords. And I think Scan or Dingo might have saw that. He did not. This is gonna go down. Let's see when he sees this drop. There it is. And a huge drop coming from Dingo. Dingo's gonna go with his own drop, but he doesn't want. Ooh, I, I'll, I think he doesn't want Scan to see that he's going for a drop. I'm gonna drop everything right here. Again, I don't know if I agree with that. Because a swarm comes down and then this is done. So. 2 2 should be done somewhat soon. I'm gonna go bring some tanks over here. And here is that drop. Gonna get spotted out by this Marine though. And we will see if he maybe. I don't know how he's gonna defend against this. Three more vessels on the way right there. Got the Scorgies coming on over. And gonna start building those turrets, but that drop's gonna be coming any second now. Is your Scorgies gonna see this? Where's the drop? You should stim this guy and look for it. There it is. And he's gonna have to bring these guys all home. Here comes your drop. Turrets are going to finish up kind of nicely. And I'm going to start dropping some things, I'm guessing. Just going all the way through. And he's going to get. He's going to get the swarm off. There's a swarm and huge. All you need is really just one lurker in there. And the SCVs are going to go down. 50. Look at that. All you really need is there's only one lurker in here. That's all you really need. If he could just irradiate that though, but you can't really see him. I don't know where that lurker is. Hold the SCVs, but these guys might die. He's got any other units in here? Taking out more and more SCVs. The swarm's gonna be done soon. In four or five seconds, gonna lose another SCV, another two SCVs, another. And finally, this guy's gonna go down. He's chilling right there. He kind of had the overlords in the way, so you couldn't really, couldn't really get it. So nice, nice job there from Dingo. He's becoming a better player. He's learning to go for that kind of drop, and now he's got a bunch of ultras. He's got that level two upgrade. I'm guessing he's got ultra speed. Uh, it's gonna finish just about now, so this guy's gonna be tweaking out real fast. And this is another drop. Maybe go for another ultra, or go for a drop with ultras, possibly. But it looks like he's just gonna go straight for the attack right here. Scans for coming down. Tanks on the side over here. And here comes a big attack from Dingo. Swarm coming down. I'm gonna come down. Dingo doing a really nice job with his swarms. Another swarm coming down. A lot of ultras right here. And he's just gonna start gnawing through these guys like they're nothing. 2-2 Two -two upgrades. Another swarm coming down. Dingo really playing the ZVT. Very, very nicely. Here's your vessels. Gonna make some Zerglings. Got a lot of Scorgies to help out and take these vessels out. And another drop, and he's going to use those Scourges for that drop right there. But there's still about four tanks, or eight tanks in there, four drop ships. So he needs to drop this now. But only a few tanks are going to drop. And he's just going to try to move his way in right here. But I don't know if that's the best idea because his base is looking kind of vulnerable right now. And a bunch of Zerglings are coming in right now. He's got kind of low money. I think he only has 45 drones. Defensive Matrix and an Irradiate on the tank. Smart move there by Scan that helps kill the Zerglings and also gives this guy extra defense. Bring in the Ultras on up. And this is not looking good. He should unseize these and bring these guys home because they're not doing anything. He's going to try to move these guys a little bit closer. Get, get some of the drones. Got the left side. Beautiful job there from scan seeing that opening and all these zerglings are coming in the back so he is going to survive this the lights are going to pop out 
We'll take out some of these SCVs, but that one hurt. Dingle down to 24. There's your Valkyries finally making the Valkyries. And I love Scan as a caster, as a player. Uh, he is the man. So, oh, he lost a lot of his SCVs. I think to splash damage right there. So when I say, um, I'm not talking smack or anything about Scan or anything. I say he should already take these S uh, these guys already, but. He just doesn't play fast all the time, so he's just not noticing the scans are coming down. Seeing the base, and he's trying to get a gauge on did my uh, killing of all those drones, did that do a significant amount of damage? And um, kind of did, but he's also pretty broke himself, so he needs to kind of really get his SCV count back maybe yeah harass a little bit with this take out some of these overlords and here comes a lot of units from with some guardians right here make that into a devour and both players are kind of broke and we're here's your Valkyries yeah you should use these a little bit more and just take out as many as many of these overlords as he can at all these guardians gonna bring those valkyries on over laying some mines right here for the lanes 156 to 177 supply taking these guys out guardians are out these guys are gonna get owned i don't know if he's just running in here to get an idea get some scan off get some information off these guys are gonna go down not the best control from dingo out some of these mines and Dingo gonna be start putting his units in the middle I think he's got some scourges right there he's got a lot of zerglings right here and now he's gonna go for that attack he's got that 3-3 three, three upgrade and gonna try to bulldoze through the front right here we'll see if a swarm comes down there's your defiler defensive matrix right there that, that's gonna be huge lurkers are gonna come down that guy burrow in time. That guy burrowed. That guy's gonna burrow. And now, gonna have to irradiate these guys. Which I don't think he has much energy. He does not. And scan is at 161 supply. Here comes another huge amount of units. All Zerglings right here. Here's your Defiler. And. This is Defiler. Yeah, the Defiler's gonna get irradiated, but he's gonna put down another swarm. Got a Devourer in here. See if maybe some ultras will get made next. Some fire bats will be able to take this out though. You can stim these guys up. These guys are actually going to go down with no swarm, but another swarm is going to come up. And lose that overlord. You should use these fire bats right here. And now scan at 176 supply. Dingo is at. Is this a drop? No. Dingo's at. 162. Scan slowly losing his supply though with these Zerglings. And then a bunch of Ultras are going to be coming through. And all of these swarms are just killing it. Those Fire Bats got owned in there. They tried. And some, some Overlords coming on over. And Scan just going to call the GG, realizing he's just. It's over. It is over Rover right there, so Dingo gonna beat Scans Terran. Let's just take a look at the score right there. Let's see what the money was like. About the same. The resources, so 304 APM for Scan, 203 for Dingo. Gonna win that ZVT. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.